Hey everybody, I don't know if y'all can tell the difference with the sun and the shadow and stuff, but this is uh, my mom and my garden here, and you can see the fence line right here, if you can. Uh, that on the other side is my uncle's garden, but uh, yeah, I was using a tiller right here, down through there, and this here, what I've done, I just took the hole and raked the top of the ground and getting all the grass off and then uh, I just kind of run a rake over it getting all the grass out but this over here is actually about three inches deep so I hope it's deep enough I'm gonna try to get the rest of this that way I might have to use a shovel so yeah but anyway stay tuned for the next clip Well, folks, as you can see over there, I made about, I don't know, one, two, about two and a half, three rounds right there with my mom's little six inch tiller. And yeah, it went completely. The motor started, it was electric. Motor started smoking. I was like, what was that? What's that smell? And I looked down and it was smoking. I was looking out anyway, but I just happened to see the smoke. But that fresh dirt right there and that fresh dirt right there is where I took the old mighty hole. But now the handle's turning when I go to chop, so, you know, inside. And you see right there where it's soaked down. I should have soaked it in a bucket of water last night, but I was going to put me a hole right there. Well, I did put a little hole. I was going to make a put a nail in it to keep it from turning but I forgot to look for a nail or a screw yeah bad on my part right but anyway I was trying to figure out how to flip this camera here we can see me but I don't see no buttons while it's recording so anywho I'm gonna go back to the shed And I got some more yard work to do, folks. I gotta finish raking, burning a, a few limbs, trying to stay away from the smoke. The smoke in the neighbor's out of. But, folks, um, give me some ideas here. I'm wanting to sell my boat, but I'm wanting to sell my boat to get me a drone. But if I sell my boat to get me a drone, well, I'm not gonna have no way of going out in the water. Yeah, I know this is a bad idea because the way the drones crash sometimes or, or just accidentally want to come down, fall to the ground. But I like to take my boat when I get my drone and go out to the river, Mississippi River, and take some uh, videos out there. I think that'd be neat. But, you know, like I said, if I sell my boat to get the drone, I won't be able to go around the water and stuff. Which might be a good thing, but I don't know. Just leave me some comments down below of what you would do. Uh, oh yeah, tree cutters came and cut the tree for the power line. Which you can't get a good view here. But they done a pretty good job. I just wish they would have went ahead and took all that down. Yeah, I know, right? But anyway, folks, I'm going to get off here. I will. I'll show you my little metal. My uncle gave me some stuff, and all that was in it. There's about four buckets of trash. I got rid of the trash, as you can tell. And uh, <laughs> yeah, a little kid's red wagon there. They was trying to help me out, put some leaves in it, pulled over. I ain't had a chance to get it out. But anyway, folks, uh, stay tuned for another little clip right after this. Boys and girls, this is what happens when you don't pay attention to a fire. Throw the cushion over in there. And it fell over. And poof, it went up in flames. That baby's getting hot. Whew. All right. I gotta get back before I burn my phone. Stay tuned for the next clip.
Welcome back everybody. Hope y'all enjoyed those videos right there, video clips. Some outside yard work I was doing. But I hope you enjoy these future clips here in just a second. First of all, I want to say I'm um, sending prayer, prayers out to everybody that was in the storm. Victims that was involved, first responders, police officers, EMS, all the above. If I forget to mention one, you are totally, totally rock. Yeah. So prayers out to all y'all and safety and stuff during the storm and the, the recovery after the storms. It's going to be hard for a few. Some of us here in Luxor was truly blessed because the tornado went through about two miles up the road, cut down some power lines. We was out power for a couple of days, well, two days. So, um, yeah. But anyway, here are some of the pictures that I got. I didn't put all of them in here because they was bad. But, um, yeah, I hope y'all, well, hate to say enjoy, but um, just, just, just watch it, folks, and uh, send some prayers to the victims that it's in this. Be right back. All right, folks, right here is the part where the power lines, is about four poles fell right there. Me and Junior was directing traffic right there, same spot. And this right here, as you can see the shed, the roof blowed off the top of it. About six pivots overturned all together. The, the, the church is okay, but you see all the debris out there from other houses. And that's what my solar panels was putting out. Stay tuned. All right, folks, that was just some of the pictures of the storm damage. Like I said, there was like six pivots overturned within that path. It was pretty much from, uh, I don't know if y'all know where it's at, but I call it Langley's Gravel. It's south of Blavel there, south of 312. It's a gravel that goes back towards Clear Lake. And it's just got a sign there that says Langley's. That's why I call it Langley's Gravel. But anyway, from there to about East County Road 378, in between there, there's a line that goes across back towards Dale of nothing but storm damage and debris and stuff from buildings. It's all out in the field and stuff. But there's two sets of power line poles down. Uh, one right there where I was at, I was south of Burdett, probably about maybe half a mile from the intersection there. And the other one was on up towards uh, that spot where I was telling you about Langley's Gravel. So yeah, it got kind of rough, folks. Um, but anyway, me and a couple of other firefighters was out directing traffic and stuff. Luckily, no medical calls in our area. Burdett Luxor was clear of medicals, just uh, debris and stuff, and lights being out. We pro patrolled around, patrol, patrol, patrol around and covered, you know, security for a little bit. After we got done blocking power lines for the, the whole southbound was closed in those two sections there. So, yeah. But anyway, folks, stay tuned. I got some more clips in the, uh, coming up. Uh, one of them's going to be for my webcam. So it's going to be first. And then I might throw some pictures in here that I was supposed to throw about three weeks ago of a haunted house. So they'll probably be in here too. And also, I'm trying to think. Oh, let me just throw the little webcam in here and then the haunted house pictures and we'll go from there, okay? Be right back. Got a new webcam here. Logitech C615 Logitech HD webcam. Yep. All right, get my camera to cell phone here to focus, but it's HD 1080p. Oh, y'all see that? There it goes a little bit. It's HD 720p. 
8 megabyte or megapixels. I don't know what that symbol for, and it's also a 360 turn. Get this right here so y'all can see that. Come on, phone. There was focus where I go. Alright, folks, there we go. That focus, focus that time. I got uh, C615 high definition video. Video HD is full HD 1080p, 720p, Skype. Photo quality is 8 megapixels, uh, lens technology standard. The focus type is auto focus. Built in microphone is mono. So there's the details. And that's kind of what it looks like right there. It's fold and go design. So yeah. Uh, some of the pictures and stuff it does. But anyway. It's a USB plug in. Don't look like the cord's going to be long enough for me. Uh, but it's got this here. Of course I would have it upside down. But it's a little tiny. HD 1080p. Uh, this part here folds like that, and I guess it folds like that. I don't know, but it does swivel that way and all the way around. So that's good. But anyway, folks, I just want to take a quick little snap thing of this and show y'all. And uh, I'll come back and try to have uh, some video footage of it uh, here in just a few seconds. All right. All right, folks. This is a pic of a old house that's out south of Osceola, out by this case. It's supposed to be haunted. Uh, Moon Dogs used to live in it. Moon Dog Wrestling from Big Daddy LaFonts. So. If y'all have any idea who owns it right now, please give me a call or email me or whatever. Get a hold of me and let me know because I really, really want to take some pictures on the inside of this house. All right, stay tuned. Oh, sorry, folks. Playing with the camera here. Hope y'all enjoyed those video clips. Um, if you do, Hit that like button. Now hit the dislike button. Do you know what to do, folks? Hit that like button. Share me with your friends. And subscribe. And if you already subscribed to my channel, hit that post notification. Yeah, that's a lot to say. Uh, I, I'm trying to look up here at y'all, but I'm trying to watch what I'm doing too. And, uh, yeah, it's confusing sometimes. Anyway, folks, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for subscribing. To all my subscribers, a big thank you. Y'all are wonderful to me. And I probably wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for y'all. So, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller, was going to have to be out of here, folks. So, shout out. Like it. Like it. Yeah, you know what to do. Hit that like button. I'm gone. Bye.